What's going on, guys? John from Build Better. And today we're going to play some Magic. Um, I haven't played Magic in a little while. Uh, just got busy and kind of took a back seat. Uh, but this new set has been, like, I saw some previews coming out. And it was very interesting to me. So I thought, hey, let's start playing again. Let's, uh, let's brew a couple decks. Uh, so today we got a deck with the new companion uh, mechanic, which means that you have a certain deck requirement that you have to build around, and you can put this guy in your sideboard and cast him from your sideboard during the game. Um, ours is Gigan, so all of our characters have to be even costs, and um, when he comes into play, you're going to mill four from both players, and you're going to take a card that was a creature that was even costed, from those and put it into play for free. So uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. This is a little Bant combo deck using my favorite card from the set, uh, Loomis Brood Moth, which is actually Mothra once you get the reskin for it. So uh, what things are we doing in here? We have a few mana accelerants. We got 12 of them. Uh, I guess technically we have 16 of them because we have the migration path. Two cause mana accelerations. Ideal world is we go turn one, nothing, because we can't we have no odd cost. Turn two, play a dude, turn three, play migration path, turn four, play Gigan, do cool stuff. Um we have two Oracle Stasis. They're just a alternate one condition. So if we end up decking ourselves with our Gigan triggers, we can just play the Oracle Thassas Oracle and uh win the game. Uh Charming Prince is uh a late addition to this deck. I didn't really think he was worth it just to uh, flicker our guy again, but I wanted something that I could play early to against aggro decks, and so he can gain some life, he can block, and he actually still has the flicker effect that happens sometimes. Uh, Luminous Broodmoth is one of my favorite cards in the set. Let you like chump block with uh, your mana guys without losing them. Could come back as flyers. You can make Gigan a flyer if they have a a good enough blocker. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with, uh, Mothra in this deck. Uh, yeah. Let's just get in some games. How about that? Building club. Four, 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 four. Life. All right. We are in here with our first opponent. Uh, doesn't look like they have a companion. Uh, this hand does not seem remar remotely playable, so we're going to mulligan this. Uh, one nice thing about this deck is you can mulligan a little bit more aggressively. Um, we'll see here. We can turn two, a druid. Turn three, growth spiral. Seems fine. I would rather have these dark spark doubles in my deck, so we're going to send one of them back. The migration path would be ideal for this hand. Some of these slower hands too, Mothra is good to have. Okay, T Temple of Epiphany. Ugh, another Spark Double. Well, that's not great. Play our Breeding Pool Tapped. Alright, so we have, what is that, Jeskai, Colors, let's play this island, I think we, let's Growth Spiral, play this tapped, now we can play Prince Andrew at next turn, alright, it's a fairy. Good times, good times from Teferi. Uh, just pluses Teferi, so he's going to get to bounce anything I play. Let's play a land. We could... Like, he doesn't get any value out of bouncing either. Well, he can't bounce the Druid, and he doesn't get any value out of bouncing this. So let's just run these out. Well, we're going to use Descry. Alright, this Migration Path is good, but the land just hits Gigan mana. Let's 
put the migration path on the bottom. If he leaves with counter magic, we're just going to slow roll into this, but we're going to make him use his mana. Probably playing like Sharknado. There's a lot of like things that we will be able to work around before we actually cast this. Man, it sucks that we have two spark doubles on our hand. It's just less hits for Geigen to hit. All right, returns my Prince Charming, or my Charming Prince. So, let's see here. How do we want to play this out then? We can play this tapped. You probably, oh, okay. You just conceded. That's odd. We missed a land drop, but. All right, we're going to bring these Dovin Vitas in. Um, I think that was too early to concede. Maybe, oh, okay. Had enough all together. Want to know, I suppose. All right. We got our next opponent. Uh, no companion from them. We got one piece of ramp. So let's think about this. Turn two, we'll play this. Turn three, we'd have four mana. Turn five. Wait. Turn four, we'd have five mana. Nah, I think we have to throw this one back. Uh, this is also a mulligan. Oh, uh, this is a green away from being a good hand. Opponent goes first. No. Go into four. Keep the four. Keep the land. Keep this. Don't know if the. Yeah. Oh, I have to return three. Uh, in case they're a faster deck, we're going to keep the Prince Charming and get rid of the Growth Spiral. And see if we're able to put a hand together with this these four cards. Uh, blue, white. Not the best start for us here. Um, a migration path could pull this together, though. Okay. Let's get that going. We got an, another Bant deck. Okay. I think we're going to play this Prince to scry. I don't think there's a reason to attack. All right, uh, that is another piece of ramp. So we might keep that. Let's see here, four, next turn be five, and this gets us to six. Although we had, like in that case, we just have the lands anyway. Let's just put these on the bottom. Because it's actually not going to speed us up at all. No attacks. I guess it, I guess if I kept that though, it would allow me to attack the Paradise Druid safely. A Mothra could be a good draw here. Or land. Land's a good draw here too. We needed that land, so. Uh, this is... This might be like a Frailed Mystic deck, so I need to be careful about like just willy-nilly running this out. Let's... One, two, three, four, five. Let's attack with this Prince. Let's play this tapped. We're not really in a rush. The opponent has to play something eventually. And then next turn we can actually attack with the Paradise Druid as well. Speed up the clock a little bit. I do suppose that eventually they can... Oh, okay. There's a... A Trawler. Let's go ahead and... Grow Spiral then. Put this into play. Two, three, four, five, six. 
get the Geigen going. Go, go, Gadget Geigen. What do we hit? What do we hit? Uh, another Geigen. Let's roll it back. Sure, why not? There's a Brood Mall. Where are we better off? Just doing Thassa. To the, mm, that's a tough call actually. Let's do the Brood Moth. Play this tapped. He has Life Link, so he can't really attack. It would give us a Flyer. Actually, attacking with this is fine because then we get another trigger. It's like, cool. Like he blocks it, whatever. He gain, we let him gain some life. We get to scry and then get a flying blocker. Yeah. Can't really just block with that. Gonna exile my guy again. That sucks. Oh, exiled my Mothra. Interesting. Don't know if that was right. But hey, he knows more than me, so. He goes back to 20. We get the bash in for 10. Let's play the spark double. Into appears to be another spark double. Yep. The Geigen reroll. Uh, let's keep the ready one. I don't expect haste out of our opponent, but you never know. So, uh, Charming Prince. Let's just uh, flicker Geigen. Is this a May? Or do you have to draw? So he has to draw. Uh, let's... In turn? Let's get our Brood Moth. And actually, we need to go ahead and cast this. Oh, well, we should have cast it. Uh, this hasn't happened yet, so let's go ahead and grow spiral now. So I didn't think about it, we weren't going to be able to grow spiral at the end of his turn. So, spark doubles fine. Can our opponent draw a million cards? I don't foresee them being able to kill us from this position. Gets rid of our guy again, that sucks, but. Oh, got rid of our Mothra again. Got rid of our prince. Okay. You good game. All right. Didn't have enough action in game one, so uh, let's bring in these vetoes. This seems like the type of deck that needs those. Um, these could be fine. Um, maybe Destiny Spinner. What would, what would we cut here? Okay, we're going to trim a couple brood moths. Actually, just one brood moth. Let's cut one Thassa. I think we actually want to get rid of these growth spirals. And one more card. Probably cut one charming. Yep, there we go. Let's see how this works out. All right, so we have a hand that we have a backup Geigen. We have 
ramp on two, and if we draw another land, we have migration path on three. So we're going to try this. Um, yep, play this tapped. So we have two turns to draw another land. There it is, sweet. Let's pay this two. Uh, there it is, we'll save in on here. Okay. Opponent is also ramping a little bit. Let's play this migration path. We need a f island and a plains. Sweet. So we have the mana to do things. Uh, if he leaves mana up, since we don't have a veto or anything, we might... Hmm. Only one blue. I have to imagine he has a counter spell, right? Hmm. We do have the backup Gigan. Let's just play this Gigan. And it resolves. Sweet. Do we want to get crazy? Or do we just want to get the brood moth to try to guarantee that? Just take the brood moth. He seemed like super scared of this last game, so. And like if you if we make him answer this now, then we have a lot of stuff we could play next turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven. If we draw a land, we get to play. Okay, so exile it. No big deal. Okay, so and a board wipe. All right, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, let's pay the two life here. We can like Gigan again and then play Prince Charming or Charming Prince rather. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it's probably just Thassa. Let's use Prince. Since we already get the flicker, we're going to use him to just try to make sure we get something we want. Such as Spark Devil. And Brood Moth. So Shatter the Sky is not on right now. He has to kill, like if he wants to shatter, he has to kill the Brood Moth first. He's going to exile probably the Brood Moth. Although, he, like I have so much power on the board here. Okay, so he got rid of Thassa. Not a huge deal. Let's get in there. I think we just deck him here, right? Because we get to print away this one and then Thassa the other one. Okay. He concedes. Sweet. Good game. Good game. 